that, that there's so many new people here. There's a lot of people within TSA that are on the call right now. And what I what one of the visions that I've had and Dave's had and Kim's had and Dawn's had is for TSA to be a second home for people. You know, a place where people can go to to ask questions to get help about their internet marketing building their business on the internet and I really do feel that with all of you guys certainly existing members that are here right now you really support people you're really there for other people um, and that's what makes TSA different to a lot of other places online and that's why I'm so proud of, of, of being part of it and I'm so glad to have you guys part of it as well um, so what we're going to do, we're going to look at the um, the three-step syndication system and the power of it. Very brief overview of what I'm going to cover. We're going to look at the challenge and the problem that you're probably currently facing in your business right now, in your blog, if you've got a website, if you've got a blog. Then we're going to look at the tribe syndication process and how the whole process works, how it all fits together, what a tribe is, what tribe syndication is, because the background of this is so important to understand before you actually get into the mechanics of doing it. And we're going to take a look at the results that we get, that other members of TSA actually get, and that you will be able to get as well. Now again, this depends on the type of work you do, depends how hard you work, and it depends on what business you're in, what kind of message you've got. But I believe everyone has got a unique message inside them, and it's just a matter of being able to get that message out to other people. And that's what we're here to do as a collective, as a group. And then we're going to go into detail about the three-step syndication system and exactly how it works. I'm going to talk about the three steps in more detail. So what I'd like to do now is ask you if I was to tell you it was possible to reach 75,092 new prospects for your business every single week using a simple three-step syndication system, would you actually believe me? And chances are, most people would say, no, it's not possible. You know, I've, I've seen claims like that, I've seen hype like that before. But I want to show you in this presentation how it's possible to do, and by working together as a team, as a collective group, as a tribe, it is possible to do. Now, I'm going to explain how it works as we progress. But firstly, I want to ask you a very important question. And I want you to really think about your business, where you're at right now in your business, because it's, it's quite easy to bury our heads in the sand and think, yes, you know, I'm going to make it in two years, three years, whatever. But where are you right now in your business? And what, what tends to happen, because we see a lot of bloggers, a lot of people that are trying to make money online, trying to build a business on the internet, we see a lot of people struggling with building a business. Now TSA is primarily for bloggers but if you are on this call and you don't have a blog that's absolutely fine. You know we can help you get set up with a blog. Uh, we can point you in the right direction. Some of our members can help you or you can get one set up at a later date. But we do need or you do need a blog to be part of TSA, to be part of the, the actual three step syndication system. You can come into the community, you can be part of the webinars but in order to take part in the system you do need a blog yourself. Now I remember going back, I, I, I don't know how long, maybe five years, maybe more, I, when I first set up a blog online I was so excited and so like passionate, you know, I'm about to get my message out to all these people, it's going to be easy, it's going to be great. And what I found, you know, I sat down, I wrote blog posts, I did some some really good content I felt at the time and I, and I was ready I published it and I'm ready I'm waiting for this flood of people to come in you know two days later I, I checked my traffic stats I've got no comments whatsoever on my blog which I felt at the time I, I you know I, I felt like a failure pretty much I, I, there was no traffic there was, there was very few traffic maybe five six visitors had come in from somewhere but nobody was interacting nobody really cared and it was at that point that I realized that I really did need to work at this this wasn't something that I was going to be able to set up and forget and just let continue and let to grow this was something I got to work hard at to start with in order to build my business so I ask you right now if you do have a blog are you getting any comments on that blog in most blogs 
um, outside of TSA and, and certainly you know members within TSA get a lot of comments and, and that's one of the, the, the goals of the system but most people that I come across or, or move to or, or go through to their blog they get no comments at all or very few and what that does is it when, when your visitors come over and they see no comments it shows that there's a quiet blog that it's not very popular nobody cares about it nobody's interested in it and that's how your prospects view it um, also if you're getting li uh, little comments probably getting a little amount of traffic to your blog um, and, and because of that you're making very little money in your business in fact you probably spending more money than you're actually making and this this is common across 95 percent of people that I speak to on a daily and weekly basis um, you're generating in your mailing list because one of the one of the goals of having your own blog or your own website is to build a mailing list so you can send traffic um, to the blog back to the blog you can you can offer promotions sell your products but because you've got no visitors coming to your blog or to your website you're building no mailing list as well so you may have an opt-in offer on your sidebar and um, with a free report or a free video but again no one's opting in and working from home I, you know I can certainly attest to this and I'm, I'm guessing that some of the people on the call right now it's lonely it's isolating there's no one to share the the good moments with there's no one to ask questions for there's no one to get help for when you need it and 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 that's what TSA does differently it gives you that platform that place where you can come and have some of our wonderful members that are on this call right now answer questions walk you through step by step and that's the vision that I have is that we grow as a community and we get bigger and bigger and bigger support and help more people so does this problem seem familiar to you now, is it something that you're currently experiencing in your business? And um, you can see as a, a kind of a big picture, and um, one of the extra slides there. But this is a huge challenge, and and what I want to do now is show you what the solution is. Sh show you one of the solutions. You know, the internet is huge. There's so many choices. There's so many ways to go. But I want to give you what we have found as a solution to more blog comments, more visitors to your blog and more relationships you know real relationships not just oh I've got a thousand friends on Facebook or 10,000 friends on Twitter great but do you know those people individually do you know them one by one N nobody can know that many people so it's all about building proper relationships with proper people so the the solution is something that not that we came up with but something that we've grown with with as it's grown as a trend it's something called tribe syndication if you take a look here uh, the the book tribes was written by Seth Godin a fantastic speaker a fantastic thinker and a pioneer of this in of this age of this of the internet um, he's got so many great ideas and great thoughts but he said that everybody is not just a marketer you know, you're not just a marketer you are also a leader you have something within you that you need to get out to other people to help people to support people to help people with problems and challenges and and again that's what TSA is you know it's a, it's a place where experts skilled people people with passions people with background knowledge about certain topics can come to give information out to other people and a, a, a basically a tribe how how a tribe is formed if you don't know um there's tribes around everything every topic every niche everything you can possibly think about there's a tribe around it now if you take apple for instance um apple mac apple um iphones you know that apple have got this tribe this raving fan base behind them and and i actually didn't realize that um uh, well and, until uh, a couple of months ago i thought hang on a second I've got like four or five Apple products I've got an iPad an iPod um, an iPhone uh, or an iMac you know, I've got numerous things so I'm actually a, a, a tribe member for Apple Apple's the kind of leader um, I'm a raving fan of Apple and, and, and I don't necessarily myself but I know a lot of people when Apple is in pre-launch people are raving about it they love it they want to go to the shops right away and they want to buy that product and that's what a tribe is it's a 
group of people that all have a common cause or a common purpose. They all want to achieve something that's the same goal. And that's what we do here at TSA. You know, we all work together to get more traffic to our blog, to get more comments on our blog, and to build better relationships and take our businesses together to the next level, not individually alone on our own. So that's how a tribe works, a collective of people all going in the same direction for the same goal. So the tribe syndication process, you can see on the screen there, it's a three-step process. This is before we get to the three-step syndication system. So I've broken this, broken this down into three steps again with your blog, with submitting to social media websites, and then sharing your content on other websites. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to go through this actual process and how it works, the why behind it, you know, the mentality behind why this works, and not necessarily the how to do it yet. That's going to come later. But like anything in life, like motivation, like business, you've got to know why you're doing it first before you actually go and do it because 80% of your results and of your actions and of your motivations is going to be deemed by the the why, what's behind it, what's driving you, what's your driving force and your motivation. So we're going to look at the why. So let's go into more detail about uh, step one. So this is kind of the solution, this is how it works. So the, the, with the three step syndication system, or, or in order to be this tribe leader, this person that people come to, you basically have a blog, which is your central hub. It's your location that people can come to to get to know you better, to learn about you more, where you can share your expertise with other people. And on that blog, you always, without a doubt, always create value-added content. That's good quality content as good as you can to share with other people because it's pointless having a crappy blog, rubbish content, rehashed nonsense that people can find anywhere. It's got to be unique. It's got to be a unique voice which is you and your experiences. Now that content on your blog can be a, a post, it can be basically an article or a blog post writing about your experiences and, and what you do and what your expertise is or it can be a video so you talking on camera like I am right now, um, hopefully slightly better lighting, which most of my videos are normally because I do them in the day. Um, but you know, so, so, so or it can be a combination of both a video and a blog post because people like to learn in different mediums. So you have a combination of both. And then once you've created that content on your blog and you've got it there, you know, nobody's come into it because nobody knows it's there, but you've created this great, wonderful piece of content. Now, in the olden days, that content would just sit there for months on end until you wrote another post with nobody commenting, nobody sharing, nobody visiting. But now this is going to be different. We're going to do something slightly different. And we're going to use the power of the social networks um, and submit your content yourself. So you physically take your content yourself and you share it on the different social networks, on Facebook on YouTube, on Twitter, on Google, on StumbleUpon, and on Dig, plus other sites. You, uh, and this is nothing new, you know, that this isn't the new part, this has been around for quite a while, but when you share your own content, you lose this kind of authority. It's like, oh yeah, there he is again, blowing his own horn, uh, like trying to sell his own business. That doesn't really sell. I mean, it's great to, for, for, to get some kind of message out there, but it doesn't really sell your content. You've got to have other people do that kind of thing for you, which we're going to cover in a second. So the main ones we submit the to yourself, you take it, you share it with a with a Facebook share, with a retweet on Twitter or a Twitter post. You you submit your content to dig and stumble upon, and then on each of these websites, on Facebook, on Twitter, on Google with Google Plus now and stumble upon and dig, you've basically grown over a period of time. You've grown a raving fan base. You've grown followers that every time you post your content or somebody else shares your content with them, 
they go, oh, I want to go and read that. That looks great. That looks really interesting. Um, and, and as long as your headline's targeted towards who your target market is, your friends, your followers, your raving fans click on the link on Facebook or Twitter or wherever they find it and they go over to your blog. And because you've aligned your content on your blog, which is essentially the solution, the answer to your followers' problems. You know, people who follow Apple want to be up with the latest technology. They want the fastest, the slimmest, the best technology. That's their problem. They want that and they're going to get it from somewhere. So what Apple have done is provided a solution and they sell it to those people. That's effectively what you do. Your expertise is a solution to a, a group or a target market's problem. And when you can do that, you will have raving fans like crazy. And those people will visit your blog, they'll comment on your blog, and you'll engage in conversation and get to know them better. They'll share your content with their friends. So they'll come over to your blog and then they'll share your content with their friends as well, which widens this sphere of influence that you have. And then they'll potentially write about your content on their blog. And your content, your message will get spread around the web. But this all happens by first having a good quality blog and a good quality website and a good message and then getting that message out there. But not necessarily doing it just on your own. So as I said, you have thousands of raving fans because you help them out with their problems and with their challenges. Now this is massive exposure and massive leverage. But what I want to do right now is take it a step further and really show you how these numbers stack up and, and how you can build upon these um, your own, the, the, I mean you in the middle, you kind of here with your little sphere of influence, how you can get it to explode so thousands and thousands of people see your message across the web. So step three in this short process, in this tribe syndication process, is you work with a group of people, like-minded people, which is your tribe, your people that you work closely with. And, and we do this within TSA. Every single week we put you in a group of 10 in total, that's you and nine others, sometimes more, sometimes less, but usually 10. And you'll, you'll, you'll rotate, you'll share each other's content, you'll comment on each other's content and you will help each other get your message out to thousands of other people and again I'm going to show you how it builds and how it adds but let's just have a look at this little uh, blue box on the left that's your tribe of people John, Dave, Kim, um, Rebecca, Dawn, Stephen, Edward, Gavin, Matthew it, it, it doesn't matter you know you could be in a group with anybody for that week but effectively your tribe takes your content and then shares it with their followers, their friends on Facebook, on Twitter, on YouTube, on Google, StumbleUpon, Dig and other sites. And if you think that each person has got a certain amount of friends and followers and each person has got an amount of influence within themselves, when they share your content, as long as you only share good quality content, that's one of the I say requirements, that's one of the advices that we give to TSA members, only share good quality content. Because if you share rubbish content with your followers and your fan base, they're not going to pay any attention to you. So only share good quality content with them. But on Facebook, they see that content, they click on it because you recommended it to them, they go through to the other person's blog, and hopefully, as long as the message is right, as long as the market's right, they become a raving fan of you, of whoever you've just shared content with. And, and and can you see how it grows out? So now it's not just you on your own. Now you're working with 10 people. If you want to go a step further, you can work with 20 people or 50 people. The more people you work with, the harder it becomes because you've got to share other people's content. You've got to read their blogs and comment. But you can make your own little tribes and mini tribes. But I'm just showing you how tribe syndication actually works. Now, if you were in this specific group for the week, and this is what the TSA spreadsheet, this is what the system looks like. This is actually the top group of the system. 
and this screenshot goes back a little while but if you were in this group for the week if you look at the next to the name column on the right hand side I'm not sure if you can see my cursor I don't think you can but if you were if you look to the right of that you can see total number of friends each of the people in the name column have got a certain amount of friends across all of the social networks so Matt at the top has got over 3,000 friends that'll be a combination thanks Dave <laughs> that'll be a combination of his um, Twitter followers and Facebook followers if you look at Corinne 20,000 Claire Kelway 31,000 and d different amounts of followers and friends for different people but if you were in that group over the week these people would have come to your blog that as long as you've got good quality content they would share your content with their friends they'll put a tweet out for you they'll go onto Facebook and post in their group or their fan page or they'll share on their profile can you see how this really adds up all of a sudden as I said it's not just you you're rotating each week with new audiences with different people that's a lot of people if you total that up and um, I did the math a while ago but if you total that up it's, it's 75,092 and um, that's, a, that's a lot of people that answers the question right at the start when I said if I said that to you would you believe me now it is possible and what we need to do is just just think about that for a second what would that do for your business and for your cash flow but only if your target market is right you know who your target market is you've got a, a solution that can help those people and you marry them together you fit them together and then your tribe members share your content your contents well written it's got video it's got um, articles its blog posts not necessarily every single piece of content is going to be kind of a lead magnet is going to get people's attention so you've got to learn and this is part of your learning process how to write good quality content how to craft good headlines to pull people in to want to read your posts and then how to keep people engaged through the post so they read the headline they read the next bit of text and they move through your post or your article until they get to the end and at the end you've got a call to action which is click this link buy this product or opt in here for my newsletter or leave a comment you know, that's a call to action and that is so, so, so what I'm trying to say is not everybody's going to be able to expose a message to that many people because not everybody's going to be interested but if you do have a message that is powerful strong enough and good enough you can reach a lot of people and uh, whether you work with TSA or whether you work with different tribes or your own tribes it doesn't matter you go out there and you find a group of people and work with them and what we have we have this already in place right here right now and it works very very well I just want to show you some of the the results if you look on the left hand side there um, I guess I could uh, do a little drawing as well like Dave did I've got my pen my marker tool but if you look here and and kind of about here these comments were actually on the TSA blog and and people come over to us to TSA to the blog because they are effectively raving fans and TSA is a tribe within itself we offer the TSA members a solution to help them with the challenge they've got and that is the blog comments the traffic lack of etc etc so people come over they leave comments on your blog 82 comments there that's not just other people coming to us but that's us engaging our members and this is what you've got to do if somebody leads leaves a comment on your blog you've got to comment back because that engages in pe with people it gets the dialogue going you build raving fans that way so if you're not doing that right now you've got to reply and, and kind of get this conversation going and um, this post specifically got 73 shares on Facebook which obviously resulted in 20 30 40 50 maybe even a hundred extra visitors come into our site because it got shared on Facebook over a period of time and then their friends saw it you know, this post was probably seen by 10,000 people actually seen by now I'm not saying 10,000 people came to the blog but potentially with with the amount of shares it had and the amount of friends that each of those people had that's what 
the power of this is. Um, 42 tweets on Twitter, again Twitter's a very powerful medium. Now if you look at this diagram on the right, this was actually one of my old websites in the gambling industry before I came into the internet marketing industry. Now, with social media, with search engine optimization, with working with a few other people, I used to get around about 30,000 visits to my blog on a month per month. That's 127,000 page views. That means it was, well you can see at the bottom, it was about four pages. The visitors who came looked at about four pages each time they came. So when you get this right, your traffic levels effectively shoot through the roof. Now our members love TSA. Um, guys, if you are an existing member here um, of TSA, and I can see there's a few of you there, just let us know in the in the actual chat box now whether TSA has helped you, whether TSA has benefited you, or how it's helped you and how it's benefited you. Because I want uh, for any new people who are on this call right now, I just want you to see the the power of TSA and uh, what it does for people. You can see some of the um, the the comments actually on the um, board right in front of you, where, you know, from Barbara, from David, from Pearlie, from Ian. But the the reason our members love TSA is because we love our members and we're there for them. We support them, and that's what you've got to do for your members, for your team, for your raving fan base. Everything you do, and this is where the why comes in and the purpose behind it. Everything that you do is geared towards helping other people. It certainly is for me, it is for Dave, it is for Kim, it is for Dawn, and it is for most people that I know on this call right now that are in TSA. And we've got, I think, 150 odd members. Um, I know there's only a handful of um, existing members because this is specifically for um, anybody that's new to TSA. But um, you know, we we love our members and 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 they love us and and it it's it's kind of like I said before it's it's kind of like a second family and that's how I want it to be a place where people get to know each other meet each other in person get on the phone and talk to their friend that they've met through TSA now um, if you have a look at this here again this screenshot goes back a little while but one of the weeks uh, not so long ago if you look in this column here, I haven't got my my, my thing now, um, the counters for last week, the 21,000, that means that other people's content within TSA was shared in about 21,000 different places. That's Twitter, that's Facebook, but 21,000 times. That's not just individual posts, that's a collective of TSA members across the whole group. So it shows the power and the influence that we have as a group. And we want you to be part of that if you're brand new to TSA. Blog counters on the right hand side, that's the amount of comments that our members left for that specific week. That's 11,088 blog comments on other people's blogs, which acts as that proof that the author of that blog is a person to trust, it's a person to like, it's a person who's got visitors and followers. And then on the left you can see total number of friends, and again I'm not sure of the exact number right now, but at the time of this screenshot, the total members that we had, had access to and influence over a million people or over. That is a lot of people, that's a lot of power, and the vision we have for TSA is to grow it to 200, to 500, to 1000 members and then you're looking at five, ten million people that the influence the TSA has got to put other people's messages in front of is powerful. Now, if you look at the bottom, your results, and I've got to say this, and I've got to say this on the next couple of shots, because your results will completely depend on the quality of your content and the type of business. This is not guaranteed for everybody. I don't guarantee that you're going to get comments. I don't guarantee that you're going to get visits. If you've got a load of rubbish, you probably won't be accepted into TSA in the first place. So you've got to really step out and, and do something good for other people. If you've got that and if you're willing to do it, I promise you, you well, uh, for, for, from my experience, you will get comments, you will get um, visitors, you will meet a lot of good people. But don't just come in and kind of sit back and say, hey, I'm here now, I, I can write my post, I can sit there and I don't need to do anything because you do you've got to give first you've got to give to other people first now this is one of 
uh, my screenshots and, 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 and kind of where I've come from. I've uh, been online for over seven years now, full time uh, in multiple businesses with TSA and with Dave Dawn and Kim, um, plus other things I've got going on. But I personally managed to grow a huge business or a big business using social media marketing, SEO, internet based marketing. And you can see there on the right, there's a screenshot, and it's only a portion actually of my Aweber account. But one of my lists there, actually I've sold that list now because it sold, I sold it with my gambling website. Um, but over 20,000 leads there. Um, my total number of leads was up to about 44,000. Those are people that follow me that when I send out a message to them, uh, they'll buy content, they'll buy my products, they'll go to wherever I recommend them to go to. And again, these results aren't typical. You know, most people never achieve them. And again, I've got to say that because I, I can't tell you, you'll do it, you'll, a anybody can do this because you know, a lot of people can, but a lot of people don't. It's not that you can't do it, it's that a lot of people won't do it and they won't put in what's needed and required of them to get the results. It takes work. Internet business, if, if if you came online to think that it was easy to build your internet business, then you're mistaken, unfortunately. And you'll find that out. I shouldn't be the one to have to tell you, and you'll learn it for yourself. But you've got to work hard. You've got to put the time in. You've got to learn. You've got to buy products, cutting-edge products. When somebody releases a product that you know, like, and trust, you've got to get hold of that information product because they're sharing that content with people and then you've got to implement you know buying content buying information products isn't all you need you've got to implement that put it into your business you know I must have spent 50,000 pounds on courses over the last five or six years maybe even more but all of that I've taken bits from I've put it into action and you can see the results there you can also see here screenshots back in 2008 I think it was um, from the list I built and the, the kind of um, foundation I built uh, over eleven thousand, nearly twelve thousand dollars in a couple of weeks period, and and you know that happened multiple times. And again, I I I don't, I'm not showing you this to brag and to say, hey, look at me, I'm great. I'm you know, just look at me now. Um, I'm just an average guy. I, I I'm nobody special. Uh, I've, I've struggled like the best of best of people and like everybody here, but I've I've got through it. I've stuck with it, and and, and things started to change. So. I just want you to see what is possible and you know there are real people here real people you can talk to you can get in touch with that have had these kind of results again at the bottom these results aren't typical and unfortunately most people will never achieve them but again it's not that they can't it's that they won't put the time and effort in so social media works if you work it it really really does Guys, just before we go into the three steps indication system, was there any questions you had? Um, Dave, if there's anything you wanted to add, or Kim, uh, briefly, before I continue. I had okay. to find my mic. <laughs> oh, you found it. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I did. No, no it, it's... Uh... It's great so far and, and people just realize that you know we do have some people here within the TSA system but you know I I just want to say where Gavin just kind of left off here's where it started because I felt that I had great content out there Gavin felt the same way a lot of people do but the reason TSA all started was because I was told to form a group of three or five people. Just looking at the power of implementing something bigger and better, and where Gavin's talking about taking it to, you know, a thousand people on the spreadsheet, and if we go to whatever the numbers are, it just could be explosive. But the reason that TSA started was because, to tell you the truth, I thought I, Dawn and I had some great content out there. We had a lot of followers. We just weren't getting the interaction. Creating TSA created that family and brought more exposure to us, letting us step up and do some other things along the way. So that's really where it all started and the power started and then Gavin came in and helped us out uh, developing this and now we got Kimberly on board who's, you know, these guys just, to tell you the truth, if you don't understand these, Gavin and Kimberly and Don and myself, this team has a lot of knowledge and a lot of power 
through SEO, different tactics. We bring a lot to the table in regards to complementing each other. We're not all great in certain areas, but we complement each other. And then when, to take it one step further, the TSA system and the people, our members, they complement us and we complement them as well because this is more of like a family relationship and that's that's the key rather than trying to do this on your own. So with that, I'm done. Fantastic. All right. Well, I'll, I'll give um, – yeah, once I finish, we'll come back on with uh, – and you, you guys can answer some questions. But um, thanks, Dave. So let's get into the three steps indication system. And, and, and many people who are on the call now, if you're new, you may have started to go through the training bit by bit. You know, you're starting to learn how the system works, what it's about, how it can benefit you. But in, in essence, the three steps, I, we boil, we've got a system for a long time. It was going well, but I saw that uh, and we saw that we could get so much more from it. It was relatively complex and cumbersome at the time. So we boiled it down to three simple steps. And those three steps are connect, comment and share. And I'm going to go into more detail about each of those steps right now. But that's all it is. It's connect, comment, share. It's not just for TSA. You can do it anywhere. You can do it in any business. But connecting, step one, once you're in the spreadsheet and you're in the TSA, no business ever happens without building a relationship with somebody first, without talking to a real person, without getting on the phone million dollar relationships, million pound relationships happen by you reaching out to somebody first. You know, I wouldn't be here in TSA right now if I hadn't have reached out to Dave and asked him at the time if I could borrow his spreadsheet for what I was doing. You know, it, it didn't work out that that's what happened in the end, but what happened was I came on board and we worked together and then Kim reached out or we reached out to Kim and brought Kim on board. And, and relationships build, you know, you could meet one person and it changed your entire business, your entire life, because you spent the time to get to know somebody properly, not just a Facebook friend or a Twitter friend. And, and if you can get on the phone with people or meet them in a live event, that is so much more powerful. If you can meet somebody in person, that is the best thing that you can ever do. The next best is get on the phone with them, <coughs> get on a video call like this. But um, so, so, so the first thing, you're in the group, you go through your group of 10 people, you connect with the other people in your group, and you may make friends with them on Facebook, you may make friends with them on Google, you may make friends with them on Twitter or follow them, you may um, add them to Skype. But one of the most important things that, uh, again, a lot of people still don't do is make friends with them on Skype or on one of the video talk platforms, contact them have a real conversation with them live on air on the phone on skype and get to know that person find out their problems their challenges how you can work together to collaborate to impact more people and help more people because that's what it's all about and that is step one of the three steps indication system the most one of the most important steps is connecting because at the end of a month at the end of six months if you've done that every single week with those people in your group you're going to know 50, 60, 70, 100 people very well that you can call upon whenever needed. You can share their content. You can help them. They can help you. And you form this bond, this group, this tribe of people all going in the same direction with a common purpose. Step two is comment. Just like I said before, most people struggle. If you go to a blog that's not in TSA or in one of the... Um, well, but I'd say TSA pretty much. I'm not going to say necessarily one of the other tribes because I, d I don't really know about other the other tribes. But if you go to a blog that's not in TSA, there's going to be very few comments on that blog. And that may be the challenge, the problem that you have right now. So step two is comment. And you go to the people in your group, you read their blog post, you comment on their blog. Now, it's got to be a good quality comment. It can't be a rubbish little comment, a throwaway, great post or well done, because chances are that'll probably go in the spam box or it'll get deleted because it doesn't look real. You know, real people leave real comments. You read the post or skim through it if you don't have the full amount of time. Get the gist of it. Write something from your thoughts back about that specific, um, specific post and specific content. And um, what then happens is you get reciprocated. People come back to you, people in your group, 
people in your tribe will come back to your posts and read your content they'll click on your links they'll share your content on these social networks which is the third step but they'll leave that comment on your blog which then if you've got 10 comments you reply to those comments and then you've got 20 comments and, and, and it builds and builds and builds and before long you have 30, 40, 50, 60, 70 plus comments on your blog and when your other friends, your visitors come from other places that don't know who you are they see all these comments, all this interaction and they think wow this is a good blog, this is a busy blog I'm gonna read this because you know, if, if there's that many comments on there surely this person is an authority surely they know what they're talking about and they've got some kind of credibility and that's where you want to get, you want to have comments on your blog, not because it makes you feel good, but because it looks good and it shows that other people know you. You're not just this weirdo that kind of has a blog that anybody can have. You're somebody with authority and with um, credibility. And, and, and your visitors, when they see that and they see you've got authority, they will start to submit their details into your opt-in offer. They will start to buy your products or join your business or become your raving fans it, it, it just that just happens but doesn't it feel good as well when somebody leaves a comment on your blog especially when you're used to having no comments at all so step one connect step two comment that leaves step three which is share your content and share other people's content just like we said before when you've got your content you share it with um, you share it on the social networks yourself now it, it's it, it's not as powerful to do it yourself where the power comes in is with is third-party edification it's where somebody else shares or recommends you to their friends their followers this is where JVs and collaboration work so well joint venture partners so you go into your group of 10 so you plus nine others you go through you connect you comment and then you share, you click on one of the Facebook buttons, you click on the Twitter button, the retweet button, you could click on the dig button, the stumble upon button, you could share it on Google, you know, all these different places. You share that person's content with your followers. And what that does is it allows the person whose content you're sharing to be exposed to a lot more people. You know, if you've got 5,000 friends across all these social networks, all of a sudden this person now has access to put their message in front of this amount of people. Now again it comes back to how good your message is, how targeted the people are who are following the other person. So you know this number of people, yes you might have 5,000 people looking at kind of, you've got the ability to expose your message to, but when you whittle it down and, and, and gradually it comes back, you know you get 20, 30, 40, 50 visitors back from that exposure. And then the people in your group, the other nine people, will come over to your blog, to your website, to your content, and they will share your content with their followers. So it works both ways. So w w one thing that we do, and one thing I advise to do as well, is in addition to being part of the TSA and being in the spreadsheet, as you gradually rotate and move through the groups, start to build a list of people who are in your industry and your niche. because all of a sudden if you connect with those people and you start to share each other's content and grow each other's business together you can achieve so much more and that's what Kim does Kim's out there building her list uh, building her fan base building her content I'm doing the same Dave and Dawn doing the same and a few other people we work closely with and every so often we've got a promotion we've got a uh, something to um, to, to sell or something to recommend or something to give we each help each other get the message out we build up our own mailing lists and together we can achieve so much more than on our own so that is step three share content with other people so that is in essence the overview or the big picture of the three step syndication system I've shown you the problem and challenge that you're currently facing or may be facing. If you're not, then surely you know other people that are struggling that could really do, really, really help, re really need the help of the TSA and the members of the TSA. We looked at the three-step tribe syndication process, which is, the, is writing your good quality content, submitting yourself to social media websites, and then working with a tribe of people to share your message. We also looked at the results and how important doing what we do is 
to get more comments, to get more social proof, to make more money ultimately. And then we looked at the three steps indication system, the connect, the comment and the share. And we saw that you know social media does work, I, I promise you that, but you've got to work it. It will not work on its own. So if you're not already registered, and I think most people who are on this call are registered right now, but if you're not already registered, and especially if you're watching this on replay later, watching it as a as a recording, just submit your name and email address in, in the page that this video is going to be on. Um, guys, if you are if you aren't registered already, at the moment you can go to tsamastery.com and that will redirect you to um, either the three-step system or three-step webinar. Kim probably will have a link right there, um, or Dave will have a link in a second to pop into the chat box. So if you're not already registered in TSA um, to go through the seven days training, then that's what you need to do. Now, once you're in the seven days training, which is basically the first part of this system, it's to educate you on how to be part of TSA, how and why the system works, about the three steps indication system. You'll learn more about TSA, how to set up your tools that you need to operate your blog, your Twitter, your Facebook, you know, those little profiles that you need. You need about five or six of those things in order to come into TSA to take part in the system. But you can come in now and you know we, we, we will vet, we will check out your application and make sure um, we're happy with it before you come in. We look at the eight core values of TSA and we pride ourselves on eight core values. That's what we do on a daily basis. We look at your purpose, like I talked about your why and why you're doing this. And then we'll go day seven is the application process. So you'll get seven emails over seven days and you'll receive seven different trainings. If you want to, you can go straight to the application form, you can fill out the application form and we will check out your application, make sure we're happy with it, make sure you have you know what the TSA is about because what tends to happen is if people come into TSA and they haven't gone through the trainings, there's certain requirements that you need to have in place first before we're going to allow you to come in to the system because we want it to be the best for our members and for the people of TSA. We want it to be mutually beneficial. So there's certain requirements that are needed first. Now there's an application process as I said, we don't let just anybody in and the reason we don't we do that is to keep it fair for our members, to keep the people in the system serious because we don't want just anybody in there because we want you when you come on board to have high quality high caliber people and that's exactly what our TSA members are right now so it, there's an application fee of 19.95 you'll pay that as you go through your, you'll you'll submit your application you'll pay your application fee you'll then be taken through you can enter your details into the spreadsheet right away and then once a week, Dave will go through and re-update the spreadsheet. He'll add you into one of the groups and then you can get started properly, 100%. And you'll also get full access to uh, phase two training, which is, a, I think, about another 10 days worth of trainings, which talks about getting more traffic to your blog, more comments, how to make money and how to build this business that you've got online that you're struggling with and that you're having challenges with. Plus, you'll also have the opportunity, if you so wish, to have a 30-minute consultation call with one of our um, premium elite TSA members, one of our ambassadors. You know, the people that are here all the time, they step up, that they, they do good for you, for other people. And people that we pride to be the leaders of the TSA and to be the kind of ambassadors and people that perpetuate the message that we've got. You'll have a 30 minute call to answer any specific questions that you may have. So that is all I've got for today. I really appreciate everybody being here and on this call. If anybody has any specific questions, um, Dave and Kim are going to come on, or, or certainly one of them will, um, and um, we'll take some of the questions. I can answer some. Uh, Kim will answer some. Dave will answer some. Um, Dawn, I think Dawn's around as well. Dawn will. So, um, guys, do you want to come on? And <laughs> thank you very much. All right, I got my mic on. Uh, let's just turn some others on here. Kim, you want a camera? Let's try some cameras. 
I don't know if Kim's got a good connection. There she is. Hey, hey, guys. Hey, so Kim. many awesome names I see in the list that I recognize. I'm so excited about, you know, everybody coming out. I know that <laughs> my list, I'm long over overdue to explain that I, I brought Syndication Alliance into TSA and I'm long overdue to tell you guys some backstory. So I, I know a couple of my guys have sent me private messages going, when would you do this? But yeah, there, there's some backstory that you guys need. But I am on as a full partner with TSA and I could not ask to work with a better community. Um, having the opportunity to work with Dave and Don and Gavin is just phenomenal the leadership here is is you know second to none and it lets me bring even further value to you as readers and community members and then you get into the community and the number of awesome people here that just totally step it up they step up and serve they look after each other you know people that treat each other well the way you'd want to be treated is is so hard to find today and that's why I'm passionate about the community. And I've gotten phenomenal results with, with syndication alliances that are based on real relationship building. I've done those from very early in my own game. And when I had syndication alliance, which I then brought into TSA, and I've had really phenomenal results with it. I mean, it is where the bulk of my traffic comes from. And so, you know, I just can't speak highly enough about what is possible out here. We all here? Well, I think we're here. <laughs> okay, great. Yep. Uh, this, is, this is actually the first time I think in the history all four of us have been on video camera at the same time. You know, I, yeah, I know we, we to, like, tried. Yeah, we have to, like, to get her on camera. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it, yeah. it's usually the three of us. Yeah, well, she's <laughs> sitting in there to get out of the noise of the kids, and it's like <laughs> another room in the house. Um, yeah, yep. works works but, well. No audio echo between you two either. Good. Was That's there any, was there any questions you saw, guys? As as the um, I think you probably answered most of them. Came in chat anyway. So if anybody's got any specific questions right now, and they may already have been answered, um, just type them into the chat box now. We can you can come live on on the call. And um, if anybody wants to come on and say a couple of words about TSA and about relationships, etc., um, again, just type into the box. We'll bring you on um, microphone, and uh, it would be great to talk to you. Yeah, uh, just I want to piggyback on some of the things that you guys talked about. And, and Gavin, I think that most people within the TSA system or they're looking at this, they're thinking, okay, well, maybe I go out there and I do a lot of exposures. Uh, I go out there and I comment on all this stuff. Guys, this is a win-win situation here, and most people don't understand that. And I bet you Kim's over there typing. I know she is. Uh, <laughs> I know you. <laughs> yeah, but, where's, my, where's my mic? Here? But, but here, okay. here's the thing is, for the most part, guys, we actually require comment love as part of the plugins for a WordPress. Okay? It's a two-fold win-win here. As you comment on other people's blogs, and I don't care if they're within TSA or not within TSA, as you comment, you're getting a lot of backlinks back to your site. And that is very powerful as well. It gives you more exposure out there on the internet. Uh, if you do a search on yourself, closing out your Gmail first because that's going to skew your results. So make sure you do that. That, by commenting on other people's sites, the more and more you do that, We've seen some huge numbers, and there's so many people that have just seen so much recogni recognition. What's the word I'm looking for here? Guys, this is live, so if I screw things up, I do it all the time. I don't worry about it. Uh, but then just, you know what? Go out there and you share the love because it all comes back. But we have seen these people in the past that they just go out and they throw out these phenomenal numbers. But then, in turn, everything explodes on their side as well. And then one other thing I just want to add and Gavin talked about the seven day training. The seven day training, we've kicked this around in the past. Uh, we've got not only the seven days, you get into phase two. We show you the backside of, say, the syndication, the details, the steps. We also show you what like a good comment is, what plugins you need, how to add plugins to your WordPress blog, so many other things out there that we could actually charge hundreds of dollars for these 
it could be a product by itself. But we just offer that free as a value to the community because we want to see more success for everyone. And we know that if we offer that value up front, then it's going to make you better. And in the end, you know, we're all going to get what we want. But we just got to work together as a team. And once we do that, we get more exposure. And like I say, it's a win-win for everybody. So Absolutely. with that, I'm done. Kim, I don't know if you saw um, Vernon's question there. I don't know if you want to an answer that one. Do the most effective groups tend to be in similar businesses or in very different businesses? I guess niches. Okay, let me. It's, that's definitely a common question, and that is actually you know some stuff we're working on within TSA. But a lot of the focus of TSA, TSA brings together not just the social share but also the additional things that Google likes to see. And Google likes to see you expanding reach and Google likes to see you putting a high number of IP addresses on your blog for comments, okay? They monitor where people are coming from. And while TSA, we talk about, you know, being social media focused, we are with the social sites, a lot of the underpinning of TSA, a lot of the trainings, we won't talk about it directly, but they help build good SEO. And so you will find with TSA that our teams have a rotation basis. And so your teams are going to rotate regularly and they're going to be a, a spattering, a smattering of individuals from throughout the community. And so you're going to have new people that you're going to be constantly meeting. You're going to have new people's networks that you're going to be constantly exposed to. And this is going to give you a much wider reach than if you simply had a static team. Now, at times in the future, we've got some additional stuff we're working on. We are going to talk a little bit more about setting up some focused niche teams. We've got some additional training that we're working on putting together, and that's that's some stuff we're working on too. And you know, my background with Syndication Alliance with with focused, um, more niche specific teams, that definitely is something that's near and dear to my heart. But at the same time, the expanded reach you're going to get with the large team format is really going to help you out as well. So what you have the option of doing is of blending both methods of using the TSA spreadsheet avidly and also then of identifying members within the community whose blogs you've now seen, whose, you know, you witness that they're capable of getting out here and giving good value and network with those people and partner up with those people. We're, we're very pro joint venture. We're very pro, you know, forming niche teams. We're very pro all of that. And we encourage you to do that here. And that, that definitely is, is part of the community. I hope that answers the question. I know it's a little roundabout answer. Perfectly put. <laughs> Well, I don't see any um, other specific questions, and as, as, as I saw before, Kim, you answered most of them as um, as you went through. If anybody else has, has anything right now, add it to the box. If not, uh, we are around in the community. If you um, sign up at tsamastery.com forward slash community, uh, you'll also be able to have any questions answered within the forums, within the boards, and, and some of our fantastic members will be there as well.